Now there is the Key West Lighthouse. And right across the street is the home of one of its most famous residents, Ernest Hemingway. Now I admit I'm not a literary expert. I don't know that much about Ernest Hemingway. I know he was a legendary drinker. In fact, that's why he built his house next to the lighthouse so he could always find his way home when he stumbled home from the bars. Um, but one thing I do know about Ernest Hemingway is that he loved kitties. He was a very much a cat person and he would breed his, his, his own brand of cats, the cats with multiple fingers, six-toed cats, seven-toed cats, known scientifically as polydactyl cats. I actually have one of my own, Virginia at home. She has 21 toes. A normal cat's supposed to have 18 toes, but they're all descended from a six-toed cat that was given to Hemingway by a sea captain. They're supposed to have special powers in mouse catching. But anyways, let's head inside and pet some kitties. Follow me. historical house can you go where you can look at a historic bed where a historic figure slept they're just cats lounging on it it's the bloodline of Hemingway's original cat lives on to this day these are all descendants of the original cat that was given to him and they are allowed to just roam the property freely as if they own the place this is actually the largest residence in Key West even though it's uh, Small. And here's a monument to his drunken heroics. He actually stole this urinal from his favorite bar, Sloppy Joe's, ripped it out of the wall, dragged it over here, and set it up in his garden as a nice little fountain. You can see little cat houses set up here. Hey, kitty. Why don't you wake up? Hey, buddy. How many toes do you have? Can I see? Do you mind if I peek? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you had a good six or seven toes. I think they're sensitive about it. Hey, kitty. Now here is the sad part of the tour. This is the cat cemetery. You can see we have cat's remains buried here. You can see a lot of the cats were named after famous people. This is Tim Novak. This cat was named Willard Scott. There's Zsa, Zsa Gabor, the cat, Errol Flynn, and Gremlin. All right, now that he's asleep, we can take a closer look at his, his paw. You can see he's got that big old thumb hanging off the side there. Here's Hemingway's pool. They keep it full, but they, uh, they, don't, they don't let you swim in it. Now, if you notice down here, there's a penny embedded in the uh, concrete by the pool. The legend is that Hemingway was furious. He did not see a reason for there to be a pool. He thought it was frivolous to have a pool on an island surrounded with water. So he threw this penny at his wife and said, here, take my last penny. You know, Hemingway doesn't come off as all that great in a lot of these stories. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> what you doing? Just me and my buddy, Humphrey Bogart. Oh, where are you going, Humphrey? Someone's waving cat treats. That's not fair. That is a hot, sleepy cat right there. But man, look how many toes he's got. Yeah, look at that paw right there. Look how many toes he has. That is, that is a super amount of toes. I wish I had that many toes, buddy. Look at that mitt. It's got like an extra paw coming out of it. Well, hey, Humphrey, did you come back? There we go. Uh, now, we do a very controlled breeding of the cats here. We average about a litter every year or two. There was one year we had two litters, and the mother is Elizabeth Taylor.
Wow, look at this magnificent specimen. Look at those feet. Those feet are bigger than my feet. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then look at this. Look at this paw here. Got some extra toes right there. <laughs> Preserve our history. Please do not sit on furniture. Unless you're a cat, of course. At one point, the No Fun Police actually tried to shut down the cats here at the Hemingway House, saying that the attraction was a zoo or a petting zoo because there was animals running around that you could pet. But uh, they actually took them to actually I took to court, and uh, but the Hemingway House won because. As they argued, the cats are not part of the attraction. The cats just happen to live here. What are you doing? Taking a little nap? Your head's just like hanging off the edge there. That doesn't look very comfortable. Sleepy. It's kind of hot today. You can actually see little cat paws everywhere embedded in the cement. And just a public service announcement. Like I said, I have my own uh, Hemingway cat. Um, you don't need to go through, a, through an expensive breeder. You don't need a purebred cat. It's not a breed. It is a defect that almost any cat, or a mutation, I don't want to say defect, because there's nothing wrong with being with having six toes. Uh, just keep an eye on shelters. You can usually find a polydactyl cat um, if you just keep looking. I wonder if it's where people get married or where they force the cats to marry each other. All right, I absolutely appreciate you guys coming along with me on my journey through the Hemingway house. These wonderful cats. They do say they, do say they breed a, um, a, a litter of kittens every year um, to keep the bloodline alive of the cats. Normally, I'm against, I'm against uh, indiscriminate breeding kittens, but I think in this case, um, when you have this proud family of, uh, of, of multi-toed cats, I, th I think that's an exception. So very, very happy to visit the Hemingway House and see their wonderful cats. Um, if you would like to see other places I've visited, please check down the link in the description. There will be an interactive map that will show you all the places I've been. And you can make suggestions on where I need to go. Also, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, there's a t-shirt shop down below. And as well as a Patreon link. If you donate at least $3 a month on Patreon, I will send you postcards while I'm out and about on my journeys. So for now, the cat is in the bag.